got a box here uh, from Whisker. I come in all kinds of sizes, etc., and colours. I've only got a black one. Again, it's what I've got in my garage at the moment as we're playing Can Gary Find the Kit? And this is IP66. Okay, this is IP66. It can be 67, it can be 68. You can actually fill these full of a resin as long as you use the appropriate glands. Appropriate glands. So if this box is screwed to the outside of the building and you're connecting maybe a PVC cable into the back, a set of Vargo connectors in there or screwed connections, and then you're going to come out to garden lighting. What type of gland will I need to make sure is on the actual box itself? What sort of properties would that gland have to have? Earth. Sorry, Dan, say again. So the gland is used for earthy, no? It, it, it can be, yeah. The body of it can end, obviously, to enter the enclosure and all the rest of it. What properties will the gland that's used outside have to have? It has to be a water type. Be, yeah. So, to, go on, Dan. Not to be corrosive. Again, because it's, yeah, it's brass, so it is. Yeah, all the glands are brass, but it's got to be IP rated. Now, this is people, you're in the workshop with gas, you make off a couple of steel wire armor ends, we use a standard gland mm. pack. Can anyone remember the two letters on the gland pack of the standard gland pack that we, we were looking at? Oh. It was two letters and then a number. Was, wasn't it? One of them was an S, wasn't it? For the size of the K, for the size of the gland. Okay, so if we look here, I've got BW 20S. BW is the effectively the inside or dry environment glands. What's the 20 stand for? Size of the cable. Okay. Anyone else? Is it the weatherproof rating? Okay, that's what. I, that's, but you see where we are. You, you've left gas, and then all of a sudden you're at garden lighting or something like that. The twenty relates to size the, of the size hole. of the yeah, so, so I've got a twenty mil hole saw here. So if I didn't knock out the box, if there wasn't already a pre-knocked out box hole, which there is in these. So I'd have to drill a hole that's 20 mil. So that's where the 20 comes from. S is for the smaller gland body. They do a standard BW20, which still has a 20 mil hole, but has a slightly larger body. And then the next size up, when I move up gland sizes, what do you think the next? So if we had 20 as the first one, what would the next one be? 25. Well done, John. So there's a 25 mil hole saw, or I'd knock out a larger hole in the box in order that I can get the next gland in. So it might be BW25. No S now, so we've got BW25. How do I know what size cable I can install using, say, BW20S gland? How do I know? Okay, on the back of it. Oh, Dan, you are loud when you come in. Say that again, Dan. I said it should be lower than 20. Okay, on the back of the actual pack itself, gives you a grid matrix, number of conductors and size of conductors, and you find which glands you need. Okay, so if you've got, for instance, let's go for three core, 1.5 BW20S. Okay, so there we go. So if I've got a, a three core, uh, six mil, I'm a BW20. Okay, I can't go A with a 20S. If I went for 16 mil, three core, I'm a 25. So it's important that we select the right gland. Now, can we use these standard BW glands outside? No, we can't. We need to use the CW variety. And I haven't got a pack, but I've got a gland. We'll come back to that in a minute. So we should use at least a CW gland. However, what's happening now is they've got some really good glands out there that I like. These are called storm glands. Are made by SWA and these are IP68 glands. Okay, so we'll go back and look at a conventional gland used for inside, and then we'll look at what the features are of these storm ones. This is a 25, yeah, so this is a 25, They're obviously doing 20S, etc. But moving towards a domestic installer, you've got to really be thinking of bridging the gap in your knowledge. So you've got to bridge that gap by reading, thinking, researching. So if you're asked to do some garden lighting, don't think, oh, yeah, we use these type of glands. There are different glands when you start looking at, obviously, the introduction of moisture. So we're outside. Let's look at a traditional gland first. I've opened up a BW20S gland pack. And... Let's let's see if um, let's go with John. Can you remember yeah. what that is, John? Uh, an earthing ring. 
the whole yeah. crowd or everyone else is, is this john john ed is, not this, a banjo. A, is this a musical <laughs> instrument no no can i play a little songs on it no often called on site the banjo okay i'm fine with that but for our exams and my notes this is the earthing ring and we'll make a connection to the metallic enclosure or plastic enclosure, depending on what we're doing. And then we would be dragging the CPC through from the actual armoring of the gland. Gramos, can you remember what that is? Is he froze? Looks like he's froze. Ed? Yeah, I think so. It's Ed? Locking, it's locking nut, isn't it? Locking nut, 20 mil locking nut. Right, so let's go for Dan. What's that, Dan? I don't remember exactly how to tell this spell. Okay. John? I can't remember the name. No. Ed? Um. <laughs> I just, just want to say sleeve in. <laughs> <sighs> I hope this video has been some help. <laughs> Gary, it's not rubber boot, is it? It ain't. It's a shroud. It's a shroud. Wow. They do call them rubber boots on site. That's a shroud. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the show. Remember, there is a separate video on the channel of how to make off steel armor cable. I'll go back through and show you stage by stage how to connect it up. Okay, so we've got these two bits left. Okay, I know it's going to be difficult to see. We've got this bit here, which has got this thimbled or roughed area on it, and that is your gland body. And then you've got the gland nut. It's important you can identify all these pieces, and obviously, the separate video on how to make off steel armor will show you again how to put them together. Can I use this type of gland outside? Yeah. No. Anyone else? You said earlier, yes. You can't. What's it made out of? You can't. Yeah, no, you can't. Right. It's, got, it's got no seals within it, so it will not. So uh, Chris from CJR Shop has done a video where he changed an outside socket that had the wrong glands in, and the glands were full of water. Again, feel free to check that one out because it proves that if you use the wrong kit, you're going to create yourself a massive problem. This is the CW gland. I haven't got the shroud here. It would have a locking nut. It would have an earthing ring. But that's the actual gland itself. Big difference now is you can see maybe in there, there is a rubber seal. OK, so when that goes against the actual PVC of the outside of the cable, it starts to create a seal. So we can get that one wound up. And then when we tighten that off, that's where the armored cable sits and seals it. In here, you have a little ring. So what happens is the steel arm would go on to here. And then this ring goes on and wedges against there to hold the armor in place. And then we go in together. So what I recommend is if you get an off cut of steel arm at some point during year two, and buy yourself a packet of CW glands or storm glands because making them off is slightly different and you don't want to work out the first time how to do it when you're actually needing to do it correctly. So there's a little top tip for you. Buy some either CW or storm glands. Let's look at the storm glands because the storm glands take it a stage further. So if we look here at the, the storm gland. Are those more expensive ones, the storm ones? Remember? Uh, uh, Price is irrelevant to me. It's about what they do. Yeah, they are dear, but they are brilliant. So they come with some fantastic bits of kit. So this is a 25, remember? So it looks massive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does look, yeah. But look here. Already I've got a, a gasket or an O-ring. So they are on there. You can see that little black, black gasket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I'm going into my box, let's imagine I've got my box here. When I'm going into my box, I've now got a seal between the box and the actual gland itself. Yeah. So you're, you're maintaining the IP rating. When I open it up again, in here, there is also an O-ring. Again, another seal to prevent the ingress of moisture. Okay, and then it works very much like a stuffing gland, which is really clever. So when you put it together, it works a lot like a stuffing gland. So again, it's got a ring in there. That ring will hold against the armoring that goes onto there. And then obviously we can just tighten it up. But that solves all the problems by using the right kit. Now, my argument is, I don't know, let's make some numbers up. These are X pounds and these are Y pounds. That's not going to make a lot of difference when you're charging 400 quid for a job. Mm. If, you, you know, if, if Garden Lighting to do it, it's 400 pounds and these are slightly more expensive, but do a better job. It's lost on the job. The customer gets, you won't be called back. You won't have as many issues, et cetera. So that's that's really good. So, again, if you get a chance to buy yourself a pack of storm glands, 
to match an armored cable to have a practice on. I'd have a go at them again because they're really, really, really good. They also come with one of these, which is a earthing ring, okay, or earthing nut. Let's go earthing nut. Sorry, I apologize. Let's go earthing nut. See, it's got some sharp edges on there, and one side is smooth. That means you do not need an earthing ring. So if you use this nut, this comes through into the enclosure, and then that goes on the other side. And the bolt here, or nut uh, screw, or whatever you want to call it, yeah, allows you to bring a fly lead off here, which is clamped onto here, which means you've earthed from the body into the enclosure. So there is no need for an earthing ring. And again, on um, efix.co.uk and on the uh, YouTube channel, there is information and a video on earthing nuts. Okay, so it's worth checking those out. Okay, they're really good. Again, it's great that they come in the pack for the storm glands. You can buy these separately. So if you were doing a standard gland and you didn't want to use the earthing ring, you can buy yourself an earthing nut and that sits on the inside of the enclosure. Okay, so that's where people are going now to that one what material is it made of brass, brass. yeah brass. it is made of brass yeah really good so are we happy we're aware of those again would i have done that in my lesson probably not why have i done it in today's lesson just to plug what? in your channel oh. <laughs> <'Cause it's... laughs> i hope this video has been smell.